Welcome to my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage. I'm Tammy, and for today's project, we're going to be doing some collage art. Now, um, this is a great way to use your scraps up. You know, so I've got all types of scraps here. Um, collage art really gives you a lot of flexibility. You know, we all have our own styles. We all have, like to put our own twists and turns on things, but that's what makes it so special. And also, there are no, there's no rules here, you guys. It's, it, it's like there's no right there's no wrong it's just what makes us happy and that's what we're going to be doing today so this is a little collage art that I put together from my heart and um, so I thought for this video it can be a hang out with me while I craft video and also serve to inspire you to maybe start thinking about what scraps you have on hand you may have a whole different set of things than what I have laying here because those are the things that light you up and that's what's really important important. So tell you what, let's get started on this and let's make some collage art. All right, the first thing for making a collage is to choose a substrate. And what I mean by that, this is just your under layer or simply what you want to choose to glue everything on. So in this case, I kept it really simple and this is just a little three by three inch square of corrugated cardboard. So um, I actually have a guillotine. Let me show you real quick. I don't know if you can see this very good the way my camera is positioned, but um, I will usually cut all my cardboard. I cut everything on this. This has been a true asset in my craft room, I have to tell you. So I will, I got this cut three inches wide, so I'm just going to stick this right under here. By the way, you guys, this does have a safety that's right here. Uh, I, I recommend not taking it off. This cardboard is very thick, so I, I kind of popped off. Um, so I went ahead and uh, did this without it. But I do recommend always leave your little safety rail on here. As you can see, I, I do have a Band-Aid on my thumb today. I'm not even going to tell you what I did. But um, yeah, I need to take stock in Band-Aids because I am constantly doing something. Let me just get that out of the way. Now, if you do not have a guillotine, um, grab yourself a ruler and a little cutter, and you can cut cardboard to, to your desired size very easily. Just kind of measure out and cut. So, you know, you really don't need that. But um, like I said, it has been an asset in my craft room. Okay, so the next thing that I did with my cardboard is I pulled out some of this rub and buff. Let me come down here a little bit more. There we go. Um, this is the antique gold. And if you're sensitive to smells, you might not want to use this. It, it really is kind of strong. I have a window over my craft table, which I opened. And I really don't like to touch this either. This is a wax metallic finish and uh, it is, it really is beautiful. And I took a cotton ball and I just rubbed this on to the cardboard and you can see how pretty that is. And it's one of those things you kind of, it's rub and buff. So you put it on and you can go back in and just with a little cloth or I'll just use this cotton ball and just kind of buff it out and you get a really pretty look with that. Like I said, it is pretty stinky, um, but the effect of it's nice. And so we're going to close this up, keep the window open, and um, and move on. So I have this one done that I did earlier, and so it's dry. We'll put that one aside. And uh, I'm going to put a hanger on this. So I decided I wanted to use it kind of like a little hanging ornament. But that's totally up to you. Now, let me just show you. Like this one I did here. If you, for an example... Let's just say we have a little blank journal here. I'm going to just take this piece of lace and put it on here and we'll just we'll just have a fake little cover, okay? So it's like a little fake cover on our journal, but um you can make your little boards and um look at how pretty for a uh for a cover, for a journal cover, you know. So your little collage is here, no hanger, of course. And uh, that would just be a gorgeous little cover for your journal. So there's all sorts of little things. You can use your imagination and come up with something really pretty. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of wire here for this. So let me just cut off a piece. 
So, and I'm going to grab my little awl here as well and poke, poke a couple holes in right here. Let's see, I want that to go through. I can see it from the other side. There it is. Okay. And where's my cutter here? Okay, so going in from the back, I'll just put my wire through. You can decide really how how long you want your hanger to be. And fold those up. And then I'm just gonna. Oh, I hate having a band-aid on it. It's like always gets in my way. I'm just gonna take and kind of tie this wire just back on itself a little bit here. Nothing fancy. And I got a little extra here. Let me just cut that off. And using my pliers, I'm just going to kind of squeeze that on there so there's nothing sharp. <laughs> we don't need anything else to hurt ourselves, right? Okay, so, all right, here we have it. We have our little board with a hanger ready to go. Let me just grab everything that we're going to start layering on here for our collage, and um, we'll get started. All right, so I've pulled out the goods. Um, the first thing I have here, this is a page from an old ledger. Just about everything I'm using for this project today is vintage. Um, some things aren't, but um, for the most part, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just cut off a little bit of paper here and kind of decide what I'm going to what I'm going to add to this. The first thing that I really want to do is um, kind of plan out my composition. And what I mean by that is I don't want to commit to gluing anything just yet. Well, I like those numbers. Let me just, let me just use a piece of this here. Um, we're not going to glue anything. We're going to, we're going to layer it on here. Um, so many times I have you know, I've just thought, okay, let me just go ahead and glue it all on and I'll lay it on there and I hate it and I've got to completely start over. And um, so, you know, if you don't like it, if it's not making you happy, just get rid of it, start over um, and uh, and make it work. You know, you'll make it work sooner or later. Sometimes you just have to walk away, you know, and you come back and all of a sudden everything just falls into place. That is the part of this process I love so much. When you can lose yourself and you lose track of time when you're when you're crafting, it, it's just it's that's just magical. And it's one of my favorite things to happen. This right here is a little calling card, a little vintage calling card. I'm going to lay that here. I want some of my gold to show. Um, this is a little scrap of blue velvet. thought I'd lay that right there. And this actually I got at Target and it was in the gift wrapping section at Christmas time. And even if when you see things like this, you may not want to wrap your, your presents in it, but um, you think, wow, this could be good for my crafting stash. I'm going to get it. You know, you'll be happy that you did. And uh, this is a piece from an old tablecloth. Um, I kind of like the little ruffle on it. So let's go ahead and just cut a Cut a little snip off of this. Okay. And I'm just going to think that's probably gorgeous right there, of course. And let's see, what else have we got here? Mm, this is a piece of coffee dyed lace that's also, um, I used the stiffy on it. Um, you guys probably saw that video I did. I think we used stiffy on everything that day. And uh, we made some coffee dyed stiffy laces and things. It was a really cute video. But that's a nice little piece. And we can lay that maybe right there. And um, I'm going to try to follow along on this one I made here. Because it came out really good. We'll kind of duplicate that. Okay. In this old cigar box, I got all kinds of nice little appliques and trims. Let me just cut off a little piece of this and lay that right there. Oh, that's already coming along beautifully. Um, 
All right, so I have several, um, I have a lot of vintage photos and I have a, a little uh, collection of these children and they're like school pictures and they're so sweet. And I went through them and I found this little girl and my goodness, look at that precious face. So I thought she was going to be just perfect for this right here. And um, I've got a piece of uh, tulle here. This is in a light blue color. And um, what I'm going to do is fold this in half. I've got like a long strip of it here. And let me take a paper clip and just tie it on to this paper clip. Like so. Okay. Just like that. And let me just trim some of that excess off right there. So this will just paper clip onto her right here and oh this is cute I cut this out I think this came from an old greeting card it's just a little blue bird this little guy here I put a little Victorian kitty cat okay so a little blue bird right here by her and her picture and this guy I used um, it was a little plastic vintage deer um, I found this it was just a little kind of a little plastic baby doll little old baby doll I think I found her at the flea market, but she's kind of cute with that little girl, I think. I think. This is shaping up really good. Vintage Lily of the Valley. I think that could run right in there. Um, I've got a, a little clip-on earring here, which we will open that right up, and this can clip right here to the bottom. And then probably the last thing I would layer on here is you see I um, stamped happy day for this one let's do that again and uh, I'm gonna use my interlocking alphabet stamps here and any craft supplies I'm using today that interest you uh, go in the description box below this video uh, you'll see show more click that I have a whole list of all of my favorite crafting supplies that I use so if you're looking for something I spelled out happy day here and I also wanted to give a shout out Let's just use a scrap of um, of this old ledger. I wanted to give a shout out to my granddaughter, Aubrey, because last time she was here, she grabbed these alphabet stamps and put everything in alphabetical order and uh, just <laughs> really cleaned my box up, which it was a disaster and it's in perfect order. So Aubrey, thank you for that because I really appreciate it. Okay, so there's happy and here is day. These little stamps are great if you don't already have these kind of keeps it all together and it's much easier to make your own words and I have them in the um, this is I think this is called the medium size and lowercase and I also have them in a smaller stamp as well which um, I have uppercase and lowercase in the small size okay so here's gonna be day right in here and I think, I think this looks good enough to do our thing. We're going to finish this off with some ribbon and maybe a little bit of lace when we get to that point. So right now, let's move all this out of our way here because we're going to start gluing. Okay, so let's, let's move it all off. You can choose whatever type of glue you want to use here. It's totally up to you. I'm going to grab the glue stick for starters and um, we'll put this on our ledger paper. Okay. And there's just where we want it. Let's get our little advertising card next. Do the same thing basically you know if you watch me craft I always use like all different types of glue I'll have the glue gun go in here in a minute guaranteed okay all right I think then we decided we were gonna go with the velvet I'm gonna hit the fabric fix for this which is a king size mess hold on one second all right there we go I just wanted to clean off that tip 
I usually leave this upside down in a cup over here so it's easy to use, but then it sort of like jams up right there in that cap. So you open it and you got glue squirting everywhere. Okay, there's our velvet. And let's just do a little layer of Fabrifix right here. We're gonna attach that vintage lace right there. Oh, I know another little layer that I was gonna add. Um, remember this old doily that I pulled out? Well, I've been using this forever. This was just a stained little doily from the flea market. I'm gonna cut off some of this outer edge right here. A little, little scrap of that. And as you can see, I have this pretty inner edge yet to use, even this old linen fabric. I'm getting a lot of bang for my buck out of that piece, that's for sure. Okay, let me just flip this over here. And I'm gonna glue this on the back. And I'm gonna grab my glue gun to do that. It'll be a lot easier. And we flip it, you can see we've got that beautiful lace peeking out from behind. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay, there. It's got all kinds of little things going on around here. All right, let's see, what do we do next, you guys? Okay, this is that real pretty coffee dyed stiffen lace. You can see me, I'm, I've got the glue gun. It's, it's all over all over. Okay, this wonderful little applique is going on next. Right there. Okay, let's see. How about our little girl? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clip this on like so. Get it kind of right where I want it. And then I'm just going to go under this picture and just put a little dot of glue just to, just to hold that down. Okay. So now let me see where we're going. Oh, this is really, this is really cute here too. How about, let's take this button, old vintage button lay it on the top right here of this paper clip and this tool and let's get back inside this little applique box here okay oh for those of you who did my um the little vintage soul journal this was uh, some of the trim that was inside of that little kit so what i thought i'd do here is cut off a little bit of this green so i just have the flower okay Put a little dot of glue on the back of that and add it right there to the button. Okay. All right, we're moving along nicely. How about, let me see, here we go. I'm going to take and add this little tiny strip of lace here. Oh, you know, you can just go on and on, you know, pull everything out. And um, there's just so many... I mean, you just don't even want to stop. There's just so many pretty layers you can add. Okay, a little bit of, a little bit of glue on there. And I'm just going to lay this lace right here. That's pretty. Okay. And um, the little bluebird. Oh, my God, that's so cute. Okay, I'm just going to hit this with a little dot of glue. And put the little bluebird right here by the picture. And then we have our little vintage baby doll. Let's see how that's going to lay. Okay. And glue's going right there. Okay. And our little baby right there. And, um,. Let's go with this happy day next because I don't want that to be hid behind anything. So, 
there. Glue strings. Okay. I'm gonna have to grab a glue stick here in a minute. Okay. Let me grab one. Reload. All right, here is our earring. And clip that on right there. And keeping the clip on the back, I love that look. Just a little hot glue under there. We'll keep that earring from going anywhere. Okay. And, um, oh yeah, I had this little bit of Lily of the Valley. Let's see. I'm not even sure if we need to add that in on this one. Maybe. Oh yeah, of course we need to add it in. Okay, let's just put it in right there. And a little dot right there to hold it. Okay, did I get it? Let me see. Hold it there a sec. All right, then I've got some. Um, with this this is a vintage seam binding ribbon and a lot of this off here and I'm gonna fold it in half this color is just amazing and let's add it tie it onto our side right here okay and if we feel like it, tie a pretty bow. Right. Okay, there we go. There is, on a, just a square of corrugated cardboard, a sweet little collage. I truly love how this little project turned out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for some craft time today. I hope you were inspired by this collage art project and you're pulling your scraps out right now so you can start yours. Thank you so much for being amazing. If anybody wants to give these guys a good home, I'm going to pop them in my Etsy shop for you. The link to my shop is below. And um, I will see you guys for our next creative project. So bye for now. Mm -hmm.